economic model is about. And as climate change deepens, we will see it more and more. Why aren't these guys scared of climate change? They think they're saved. You know what? They're right. They're buying glacier front property in, in, in Alaska. You can buy your way out of almost any disaster. You can. They already are. You can turn up the air conditioning. You can get out of New York or Washington in the summer. Now, you know, Neil McLean said that, yeah, okay, they got, you know, they're billionaires, they got money, they're not bothered about climate change, they're gonna, you know, you know, go and live uh, some bunker in Switzerland or New Zealand or whatever else. I mean, if they can go to Mars, they can go to Mars. Now, the thing is, um, I am sorry, but Neil McLean is wrong. And this is the this is you know the sad part is alhamdulillah i am a muslim and you know it's it's what i'm what i'm trying to say is it, success is is supposed to be permanent success you know if they think that they will not die i mean that's the thing you see we don't die we we face death and every soul every person will taste death and uh, a day will come that uh, the creator Allah will send the angel of death to reclaim the soul the real you the real you is is your soul not your earthly body and it is sad I mean you see it's like uh, Satan you know the devil the, the biggest trick the devil pulled is that the devil convinced these non-Muslims, these billionaires, that he is not real. And I'm sure some of these billionaires are atheists, meaning they actually it's more they are agnostic and they don't believe in God because they haven't seen God. But, you know, that's, it's like, I'm, I'm really sorry, but they are very stupid and they're very, they're very, you know, uh, their thinking is not clear. Now, you see, the Creator Allah is really powerful. And the Creator Allah, you know, the, the body that we have, the earthly body, is, is not, you know, it's, it's fragile. The earthly body that we have is, is fragile. And so example if if the sun uh, which is a star if the sun were to come in front of us then obviously we would you know evaporate we would demolish we would like gone we you know we would be done finished and likewise therefore likewise or therefore the creator Allah cannot come in front of us because because the Creator Allah is really powerful and this earthly body is fragile. I mean, you know, if you're crossing the road and you don't see a car coming and it hits you like, what, 35 miles an hour, you know, most of your bones are broken. So that's how fragile the earthly body is. Now, the sad part is that I would like to, you know, my message, my message, my message to the billionaires and the agnostic borderline atheist is this. You see, first of all, I will say, look, you should think of Islam and, you know, become a Muslim. And, um, yeah, before, you know, you want to reply to that, watch the video, How the Bible Led Me to Islam, Yusha Evans and read the book Divine Reality by Hamza Andrew Zotsis. By the way, um, Hamza Andrew Zotsis became a Muslim uh, several years ago, and so did Yusha Evans, uh, How the Bible Led Me to Islam. Also read MAS, uh, the, oh, sorry, also read the Quran English translation by MAS Abdul Halim. And now let me, let me explain something. The Quran, Islam, Quran and Sunnah is the correct guidance and if you, you know, if you really desire permanent success because success should be permanent 
Because don't forget, you know, you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the, you know, money, yeah, all the money in the world. But one day, the angel of death will be coming to you and reclaiming the real you, which is taking your soul out from your earthly body and taking it back to the Creator Allah. Yes. So you want to think about that. You know, this is crazy. You know, in the beginning, some of our ancestors or your ancestors chose greed and then they stole everything. You know, I mean, examples in history, yeah? The children of Adam, you know, peace be upon Adam. Examples in history, uh, Julius Caesar, um, um, I don't know, Henry VIII, George III, um, uh, Christopher Columbus. I mean, yeah, you see what I'm trying to say? They chose greed and then they stole everything. And this is why we have this inequality. We have like uh, a person in Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Indonesia can have a master's degree but cannot have a good good job because... Uh, not to forget India, because you guys or your great 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 grandfathers chose greed and stole everything. That's right. Yes, you, your great 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 grandfathers chose greed and stole everything and left, you know, the India, left the subcontinent and Africa and so many other places like. Just you know, like in 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 extreme poverty, and they are still, they are still struggling to, to you know bounce back. But even then, you know, as soon as you see somebody is trying to bounce back, uh, another country, no, you wanna go, you know, you wanna you know manipulate them and exploit them with your neoliberal thinking, yeah, capitalism. That's right. It is capitalism, isn't it? Now, you know what? I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry to be angry. Now, listen. This is what I'm saying. One day, death will come to you. Doesn't matter if you, you know, in your palace, surrounded by bodyguards, in your, you know, high-tech, you know, bunker, surrounded by, I don't know, robotic bodyguards, cyborgs. But when the angel of death is in front of you, and the parallel dimension, parallel dimension opens up and you will see the angel of death and then you will remember my words. Yes. And, you know, it will be too late. And what I'm trying to say is, look, to those billionaires and to those who are doing wrong, and you know who you are, you know. And, you know, you guys... What you need to do is really become Muslim, ask for forgiveness to the Creator Allah. Yes, become Muslim and ask for forgiveness. Tell, yeah, become Muslim and say to Allah, the Creator Allah, O oh Allah, Allah is an Arabic word. It means the one who deserves all worship. So, you know, you say to the Creator, Allah, O oh Allah, forgive my sins. I have done so much wrong. Forgive my sins. This is what you need to do. And, you know, in regards to your millions and billions, no, you want to, you know, give it, give it as tax. You know, give it to the appropriate um, uh, uh, politician, a politician who is a good person. You give it to a good politician, a good member of Congress, uh, and a good member of the Parliament. And this is, you know, for the billionaires, you know, all around the world. I'm telling you, if you don't do this, you know, you want to sort yourself out. If you really want to ask for forgiveness, you. First of all, before death comes to you, oh yeah, death is a creation, death is an experience, death is a taste in, in, in the unseen. And yes, you know, uh, we don't die, we taste death. 
And before that comes to you, become Muslim. Seriously, become a Muslim and and um, ask for forgiveness. Become a Muslim and say to the Creator Allah, O oh Allah, O oh the Creator Allah, forgive my sins. And the billions, you know, seriously, you know, pay your fair, fair share of taxes. Yeah, pay your taxes. Seriously. You know, let's reduce this inequality throughout the world. You know, children are starving. And I mean, you know, this is disgusting. The shock doctrine, seriously. You know, I mean, I can't believe, you know. I mean, you know, the lion is better than you. The lion is a predator. And the lion, you know, chases the deer, kills the deer, and eats the deer. And there's no, you know, deception. There's no, you know, like crafty. And, you know, there's no planning and there's no pre-planning. I mean... What do you guys do? You know, shock doctrine? Really, you want to... You create crisis? Really, you create crisis so you can make more money out of it? Oh, my God. You know, seriously. This is like, you know... You know, I am so embarrassed to be a child of Adam. Don't forget, we are all children of Adam. And I am so embarrassed to be a child of Adam. I mean, come on, do you know? Do you not have any consciousness? Don't you know have a? Don't you not have a heart? I mean, I'm sure you know you have a heart. You need to, you know, fix your heart, clean your heart, seriously. I mean, how can you? You know, money. That's the thing. Money is not success. Now look, what is permanent success? Look, I I feel sorry for you. I am your friend. I am your brother in humanity. I am your friend. You know, I really want you to go to paradise. You know, after I read namaz, I say to the Creator Allah, O oh Allah, forgive all the Muslims and guide the non-Muslims to Islam. Guide the non-Muslims to Islam so they can also go to paradise with us as Muslims, I mean. And then I say, to oh Allah, I know it's up to them. Now, <clears throat> look, of course it's up to you. Allah has given free will to everyone. Now, free will is also part of the examination. Yeah, I really feel sorry, uh, you know, to see someone dying as a non-Muslim. Because according to Allah, according to the Quran, someone dying as a non-Muslim will, you know, enter the fire of Jahannam, you know, punishment. And, you know, this is terrible. You know, honestly, you, the fire of Jahannam is a horrible place, is a miserable destination. You know, the final, the children of Adam, which we are the children of Adam, the final destination is paradise. It should be paradise. And, and it's your choice. That's right. If you listen to this, and you grow a conscience, and you clean your heart, and you become Muslim, and you say, oh, the Creator Allah, forgive me for my sins, and then you put things right, and then, you know, Allah will forgive you. The Creator Allah will forgive you. But you have to become Muslim and say to Allah, oh Allah, forgive my sins. This is important. Permanent success? What is permanent success? Permanent success? What is permanent success? Permanent success is getting a place, getting a home in paradise, in, in, in heaven. That is permanent success. Permanent success is not tricking and decepting and you know and, and cunning and and you know taking opportunity from crisis and and you know uh, making billions and billions and billions of you know dollars and pounds and Japanese yen or whatever and then just putting it into some bank account 